Rockday House, Rockday House Shy, Rockday House, Rockday House Shy, Calculate House, Rockday House Shy, Rockday House Cockadash, Devil Honor to the Elder Apostle, the Great Mills, and we will, Sister Tai Taken, I'm going to put to the truth, we caught the four corners of the earth to the fear and power, how about Shy, Shy, that the hope will let. Tai Taken is like foreigner that's got amongst the nation, that believe in the name of Jehovah, Father Shun, and Howard Shy, and shout out to the Tittin the family that treats the gospel that preaches around the whole world. Peace and mercy unto you. And who the world entered to call God, his name is Yahweh. And who the world entered to call Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. And with the Hebrew Israelite, that consists of the third called Negro, Latino, Native American, and also line descendants, go back to one of the twelve tribes of Israel, due to the scattering amongst the nation. This will be on um, the Super Bowl ad from yesterday by Rocket Mortgage. With uh, Tracy uh, Morgan in it, all right, and basically going to uh, uh, I think they certain throw the phrase you, and then you give me an example of that. Love this place. Now what? Well, I'm pretty sure we have everything in order. Pretty sure. With Rocket, you could be certain. Not pretty sure. What's the difference? Well, let me show you. I'm not pretty sure. So he was giving all the examples. Not pretty sure. All right. They took all the way to this thing right here. That spot works too. I'm pretty sure they come in peace. What's too certain? Yeah, certain is better. When it comes to home buying, pretty sure isn't sure enough. Find the right mortgage with a local broker and Rocket Technology. When you need to be certain, Rocket can. That spot works too. I'm pretty sure they come in peace. Hey, What's too certain? They started blowing stuff up. All right. It, it showed multiple series. It's one up close. Uh, here we go. Look at that, they show that up close. But then it also show multiple series. Alright. They show you that the elite, they know, they know what's up, man. Let's get the scripture. Because the Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world entity called Jesus Christ, he's not bringing peace at all. Alright, you peace, you peace, you, the world thinks he's bringing peace, but he's not bringing peace at all. Okay. They're bringing destruction. It's Matthew 10 and uh, 34. Think not that I am come to compete on earth. Alright? I'm pretty sure uh, they're coming to bring peace. And sure enough, boom. Uh, and share it, bring the destruction. All right, let's play it again. I'm pretty sure they come in peace. I'm pretty sure they come in peace. Let's do certain. Let's do certain. They didn't bring peace at all because they they know the Lord, the whole shot is not coming to bring peace. Master. What's this with that? Ten thirty four. Think not that I am come to them peace on earth. I am, I came not to them peace, but a sword. All right, coming to uh, uh, to destroy it. All right, and we go to that sword. Let's make you the the laser. All right, so we go to second answer chapter thirteen. Let's load up.
time. Let's not take it easy. Get to it. Um, that's straight to the point. This is uh, I think it's a thirteen, and um, lying and low as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lift up his hand nor held score or any instrument of war. But only I thought that he sent out his mouth that it had been a blast of fire, out of his lip a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempest. Alright, it's laser. Let's go back to it. That spot works too. I'm pretty sure they come. That spot in works too. I'm pretty sure they come in peace. It's too certain. Yeah. That's too certain. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, just have the scripture uh, uh, say it is. For the elite, they know. They know this Bible. Alright, but they still think they're going to win, but they ain't going to win. Verse 11. And they were all mixed together the blast of fire, the flaming breath. And the great tempest and filled with violence on the multitude, which was prepared to fight and burnt them up, everyone, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. So I saw that I was afraid. All right, so that's the score he comes with. Okay, and a certain day I shall not meet thee as a man. All right. They have 47 and 3. This the uh, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy chain shall be thin. I will take vengeance and I will not meet the other man. <laughs> Alright, and that's part of the vision that he's coming with. With that nuclear blocking with the uh, later coming from his chariot. Alright. They coming with multiple ch uh, uh, chariot. Alright. Revelation. This is the two. It's 19, Revelation 19 and 11. I thought that heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and righteousness he do a judge and make war. Alright, and that's how I try to come back to judge everybody, and he's going to make war. It says, His eyes were, a, were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no man knew but he himself. 
and he would close with a veteran dipped in blood, and his name is called the word of Jehovah. And the army which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, and clothed in fine linen, white and clean. All right. And that's the, the, the here, the angel. They're going to be in the other chariot, too. They're not going to just be one. Be two. I'm pretty sure they come in peace. Two. I'm pretty sure they come in peace. Yeah, like five or six. Yeah, one certainly. That last thing right there. All right, which means it could be multiple uh, chariots. And we know the stupid dead, thousands upon thousands. All right, whack strong, thousands and thousands of uh, angels. Okay, let's continue reading because it's also go back to um, uh, we come back with four in Matthew 24. We'll read it again after we read this. It's uh, Revelation 19 and 15, and out of his mouth go a sharp, go a sharp gourd. All right, and that's what we read in Second uh, Ezra 13. All right, this chart story is talking about this, or we just read in Second Ezra 13, verse uh, nine through eleven. All right, that's the chart story that it's talking about. All right, now verse uh, 15, and out of his mouth goes a chart story. That with it he shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treaded the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty Yahweh. Alright. Go so back to uh, 15 again, and out of his mouth goes a sharp sword. Alright. And after the sword that Yahweh tried coming backwards. Matthew 10 and 34 again. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a force. All right, that's chart four. It's just right here. We're taking it to thirteen. All right, the blast, of, the laser, the blast of fire. Let's go back to Revelation nineteen. All right, Revelation nineteen. And, um, 15. Yeah, I was I'm pretty sure they come in peace. Right. Let's do certain. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they come in peace. Let's do certain. Yeah. See? So with that, you know, hey, they know what's going on and stuff. How shy of the world Italy call Jesus Christ, he comes back to uh, destroy, he comes back to kill. Alright, uh, one more scripture. Alright, sorry, I forgot about this. Actually, a couple more. Okay. They did uh, peace, right? But the one three that died the day of the Lord. It was five and eighteen. It's the role unto to you that died the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, how much I shine is darkness and not light. Alright? So it's darkness, it's not light, it's not peace. It's four. And four bring what? Destruction. That's why it's the role. Alright, and then Zechariah 12 because of the, the ship that we just saw. That no, was 12, 13. That's 13. So, who is it?
deck around five. five. Wrong trap. Deck around five and one. Then I turn and lift up my eyes and look. And behold, a flying whale. Alright. Look at that flying whale. Let's blow it up. Look at the laughter for further out. Alright. And he said unto me, What did thou? And I answered, I see a flying world, the length thereof of 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof of 10 cubits. And that's how big it is. And then said he unto me, This is the curse. Alright? A curse is nothing peace, it's nothing light, that's dark, that's destruction. That goes forth over the earth, block it, that goes, goes forth over the face of the whole earth, for everyone that still is shall be cut off as on this side according to it and everyone that acquired shall be cut off as on that side according to it all right and I, I will bring it forth day the Lord how about shall side a host and it shall enter into the house of the thief which is America all right because uh, another interesting fact is the uh, with the Super Bowl yesterday right you had the Buccaneers all right playing against the Chiefs all right, that was East Dog, Edom, so-called white man, being that the thief. All right, worked with the chief. All right, represented the so-called uh, Native American, the Gadite, one of the tribe of Israel. All right, but we're in the house of the thief right now. He's telling us everything. All right, name who go into the bloody city. Okay, and into the house. Of him that swear falsely on my name, it shall remain in the midst of his house. It shall consume it. I'm pretty him. sure they come in peace. Let's do certain. Yeah, certain is Flying better. Road, when it comes to home, all right. I'm so pretty sure they come in peace. Let's do certain. Yeah, certain is better. When it comes